Now we'll discuss about the noise pollution. How can noise be a pollution? Do you think noise is a pollution? Yes. When we talk softly, when we are listening to the music, that noise is not beyond our control or we, we do not have any disturbance because of that. If you talk softly, there is no problem for us. But if two people are also fighting or there is a group of people who are fighting and creating large noise, that is irritating. So whatever is unpleasant sound, we call it noise. And when noise goes beyond some limit, we call it noise pollution. So this is also a type of pollution. It is not present in air, water or soil. It is which we make. Human activity is responsible for creating this noise pollution. When you get up early in the morning, you can actually hear the chirping of birds. You are quiet in the class, then you can hear the fan moving or the, you know, the birds uh, chirping. But when you are talking, you don't hear all this. So the nature's sound you are not able to hear because we are making so much noise. We, the human beings and the developmental things which we are making use of, that is making noise. So this, all this which goes beyond the limit of uh, taking in by the human beings, this is called as noise pollution. Noise pollution basically is because of modernization, because of uh, industrialization, because so many type of new um, uh, equipments are made. That means the urbanization is also being responsible for noise pollution. Now what are the sources of noise pollution? There are a number of sources. Some sources are listed here, but they, beyond that also you have to think which sound can become a noise pollution. First is road traffic. It is horrible when you are actually standing on the road and then so many ve vehicles are running, so much noise they make. The noise of the horns, the noise of the engines of, their, of the traffic or with the vehicles which are used. So that is creating so much noise. The people who are living near the noise or near the roadways, highways, near the airports, they are suffering the most because continuous they have to hear the vehicle noise, continuous noise of horns, continuous noise of the engines moving. The bigger the vehicle, the more is the noise. Second, as I said, when the people who are living near the airports, they have too much problem. Because continuously nowadays the airports are full, Continue, every one minute a new flight is going or landing and that aircraft is making lot of noise and that creates a noise pollution. The people many times have to close their doors and windows and or make it soundproof because that noise is creating too much problems. Third is railroads. Railroads means the railways, the people living near the railways, they also have to suffer too much noise because of the railway engines which are making so much noise. And that is also one of the sources of noise pollution. Construction sites. You must have seen every now and then some building is being made. The drill machine only is making so much noise. So imagine when the whole building is being made, whole bridges, too many bridges are being made nowadays. All these construction sites are creating too much noise beyond the level of decibels which we can hear. That is very very matter of concern because people may get deaf actually because of such type of noise. If you think that you are in the school, you are studying and next to your school some building is being made. Can you actually hear what your teacher is teaching? You cannot hear because so much noise is produced that it creates a pollution in the air. The noise in the industries. Now big big huge industries, factories are being set up. Big huge machines are there which are doing the work. Now these machines will make so much noise and the people working in that industry have the, partial, uh, have the partial deafness already. That is creating the pollution in the industry, around the industry and affecting the people. Then household appliances. When I say household appliances, I mean the appliances used inside our house. A simple thing like mixer, microwave or some other things, fridge, mama, washing machine, all make noise. When they are new, they might not. But 
as they grow more and more wear and tear takes place too much noise is created in the household appliances also and the one of the major another cause is celebration of festivals the festivals has to be celebrated with colors with uh, lights but now what we are actually doing too much crackers too much noise too much loud music till the night is being played that is creating too many problems in people especially the small young children the old people who cannot afford to hear so much they get ill because of that and that is one of the reason the celebration of festivals is creating too much high decibels because of the loud music because of the crackers which they use and that is creating the noise pollution so these were the some outline or some major sources of noise pollution what is the effect of this on us too many effects are seen but some of the effects can be lined up like this major three one is auditory effects which is actually affecting our ears working the working of the ears so that is auditory effects non auditory effects means it it is it is creating problem for our ears also but the whole body is getting affected because of so many types of noise pollutants and third is physiological effect what actually happens inside my body so that there are three types of effects we are going to see some examples of three side three types first is auditory effects it creates deafness so the a uh, survey was done that some people who were living near the highways near the railway stations they were tested for their hearing power and the people who were living in very quiet area were tested it was found that the people living these no, living near this noisy areas were having partial deafness or even the full deafness so in many people and that was showing this uh, was this showed us that direct effect on your hearing power is there because of the noise pollution such type of effect is called as auditory effect non auditory effect you know because of noise you get irritated because of noise you get very angry you get fatigue you get you know in fact if after the celebration of some festivals you are not doing anything but you are going and seeing the loud music or hearing the loud music you get there only you get fatigued or tired so that is also there you are not able to communicate the communication interference is there now in a class in your in your class till let's take the example the 40 50 children are sitting 70 sometimes are sitting they all are talking and the teacher is teaching can you hear anything there is a continuous interference of the communication if you people are quiet and teacher is talking of teacher is talking and one of you is answering then only the we can hear each other this is a simple example if you are living near some construction site and the drill machine is going on can you even hear within your family members you cannot so that is called as communication interference it is linked to our sleep in such a loud noise can you sleep it is very impossible that you get a sound sleep because of the noise pollution if there is so much noise can you concentrate so there is a interference in the in your con concentration power also concentration is required in everything in your studies in your sports even if in your reading so if i have too much noise background i cannot concentrate on anything then violent behavior many times people get very angry and when they get very angry they violently act this is also one side effect of the loud noise our efficiency of working becomes less so loss of working efficiency if i had the capab i have the capability of working 8 hours a day with all the work done if there is a too much noise in surrounding i am not able to concentrate when i am not able to concentrate obviously my work efficiency will will be less so these were the some of the non auditory effects but how does it affect my body this is physiological effect many times to due to loud noise it is most seen in small children toddlers and in uh, elderly people or the 60 plus people they might be they get tired because of the noise only 
so that is called as fatigue then nausea the feeling of vomiting that is also because of that anxiety always you are anxious why it is not getting this noise why it is getting so much noise is there i am not able to do this work so this type of anxiety is always there then visual disturbances many people have the direct effect on eyes also from ears to eyes it is affected and that can uh, disturb your visual ability insomnia insomnia means the inability to sleep i do not get sleep because of so much noise if i am living in a area where too much traffic is there that noise is not making me sleep sound hypertension that means your blood pressure may increase because of noise pollution cardiovascular diseases now when there is so much noise you are becoming too anxious when you become too anxious your bp rises when your bp rises or the blood pressure rises what is it affecting it is affecting your heart so finally the palpitation you may suffer from palpitation or a low pulse rate or your heart not working properly so everything is interrelated to each other this is a physiological effect or the effect on the human body because of noise pollution so we just saw the pollution of different type not the air not the soil not the sand or the land but the because of the noise so this is the about the noise pollution next we are going to see what is radioactive pollution actually radioactive pollution is our human activity is so much that radioactive elements we are using in our research work nuclear power plants but not enough care is taken and so the radioactive element if if it gets mixed with the uh, soil or the water it may affect our our system from inside it may even cause death and so this type of radioactive pollution we uh, from the, what are the sources of radioactive pollution as i said nuclear power plants are there then nuclear weapons are there mining when you mine the mining that is coal mining is done so many types of radioactive elements are dug out then nuclear accidents if there some during the research work if some accidents happen they get mixed with the soil and that causes a pollution and medical waste also has because uranium um, radioactive element like uranium is used for the research purpose in the medical field so these are the sources of radioactive elements which can directly affect the the air water and soil now what are the effects of radioactive elements so the radioactive elements may cause a major pollution in the atmosphere in the soil in the air in the water as i had already told you what are the sources of radioactive pollution the radioactive pollution can come from nuclear power plants and nuclear fuel so nuclear power plants what are they doing they are making use of nucleus of the atoms to produce the power and that can create number of pollutants which get mixed with the soil nuclear weapons are being made nowadays for the safety of our country and that is one of the another reason of mixing of radioactive elements into the atmosphere or the ecosystem mining the coal mining is also producing number of radioactive elements which can destroy the ecosystem nuclear accidents so if we are making use of nuclear weapons because nuclear power plants obviously sometimes accidents may happen and that is also one of the reason or sources of radioactive pollution medical waste and as i said some medical research is making use of number of radioactive elements and that after the research is done so it may remain in that livestock or whichever um, whichever animals they have used and whichever research they have done so that may cause the pollution what are the effects it affects directly the living organism if i see the, what is the effect on plant they affect the dna of the plant so they may affect the dna of the plant deoxyribonucleic acid which is present in the chromosomes they may also develop weak seeds so the fertility of the soil is decrease the the productivity of the crop is also less they may develop weak seeds then biological in humans what's happening our body is containing number of biological molecules 
and those molecules may get changed to ions because of the radioactive pollutants entering in our body indirectly obviously not directly but indirectly and then these biological molecules change into ions and these ions can destroy our protein our enzymes the nucleic acid which are present in our body and are responsible for so many systems to work and if it get destroys obviously some type of diseases are coming and these diseases or damages done due to radioactive elements or radioactive pollutants can be passed on to generations to generations or it can be transmitted from one generation to another generation so this is the effect of radioactive pollution in human beings in plants in all the types of organisms and what is it being doing it is directly affecting the ecosystem so what should be done to reduce all this such type of pollutants so the the things which should we should do is called as abatement of pollution what is abatement abatement is the corrective steps taken to minimize the effect of pollution on the ecosystem this is called as abatement abatement the various corrective steps have been have to be taken government as well as we as citizens of our country should take part in that and government has done laid down various uh, acts for that and which might help or which is actually helping in reducing the pollution of our country or of our world we'll see what is abatement and what are the various laws which the government has enacted